80, what the freak, there's no way. Looks promising, not gonna lie. Kinda excited, let's get into it. Haven't used this bad boy ever. Sharpener. Let's do the review. We're gonna start off with the pliers. Inside this kit, it's pretty actually, it's not bad, not gonna lie. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tools if you count. Each one of the tools is uniquely kind of ugly. Like the knife looked like it was meant to be a different tool than they said sharpen it. So the tools themselves are kind of wonk looking, you know, not the best looking but they'll probably serve their purpose somewhat good. Except for the nut, I'm just having a hard time liking the look of that ugly sucker. But the pliers themselves, they got some nice springy action. This is $25 for three tools. So this itself is like seven bucks, eight bucks, nine bucks, under 10 bucks, okay? For me, this is gonna work out nicely because I use these to grab the string to tighten it for my knife sharpening tester. So for me, I have a good use for them. Next would be the knife. Ah, so this knife is a 420 stainless steel pocket knife, okay? Plastic handle, not bad. It has a good smooth slash rigid texture. Pocket clip, tip down. I don't know if I'm a tip down kind of guy. I mean, the pocket knife itself isn't too bad. It's, it's a good toss it in the truck, tool bag, Eh, knife, you know? You're not afraid to break it. Now as for the sharpener, let's dull the knife. Well, first let's test the knife and then see how well it resharpens it. There we go. Never mind. A little bit sharp and they keep cutting my string. There we go. That's a little better. Oh wow, 100, so it's actually pretty sharp. It's really sharp actually. Here we go. This is a diamond stone. Not sure what grid it is, but it will do nicely for doling. Let's carve on it a little bit. We're making a spear. Gonna take quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah, see, it's just bending. So, I mean, you can always bend it back. Sort of, yeah, it's it's kind of a little crooked. Back to spear. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 800. 805, easy, easy. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, now let's sharpen. Every time these pull through sharpeners just sound like, sound like grinding your teeth. Yeah. And that was 20 passes. I've always had people tell me go back and forth on these. Okay, let's bust out some leather. Actually, let's not. Let's test it first. It was at 265. Let's just see what the leather does to it now. At 265, 280. What the freak? There's no way. Oh, oh, easy. 80. There's no way it got even sharper than when I started out with. Let's test it again. 100. So yeah, that's pretty accurate. Two different spots, 80 and 100. So it pretty much brought it back to the factory edge, even though it's not. The tip definitely isn't that sharp. It's still crooked. But I mean, in the areas you could sharpen it at, it's sharp. Let me get some paper. Here we go. Eh, it, it caught a few times. But I mean, in the areas it doesn't catch, obviously it cuts good. Okay, so, probably about starting right here is where it's gonna be sharp. So, right where my thumb is, up, and then it's gonna stop being sharp probably about right in this area. So you got that much of sharpness. Sharpener can't really reach. The sharpener can't really reach past this point because of the handle and this big giant lip. I mean, the tip could be sharper than what I'm saying. 
Let's see. This is just the tip area. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's kind of rough. It's a lot rougher. The Smith's pull-through sharpener, I have a different one. I broke it. That was one of the best pull-through sharpeners I've had so far. So, so far, Smith has been the best for pull-through sharpeners. And as far as like these little tests, the pliers are okay. So obviously you're probably not gonna be using these to grab a hold and start cranking down on something. But having them as a little temporary quick grab and go set. So for $25, this set's definitely not bad. So what do y'all think? Is it worth the $25 for these three tools or not? Nah?